Hello everyone and thank you for joining today's webinar. We're um, here to talk about the RCA event in Napa and provide a live Q&A opportunity for all of you prospective attendees of this inaugural event. So thank you for joining us today. Uh, we have a half hour presentation here where we're going to spend the first portion just giving you an overview of the event and answering some questions. And then we will open it up for a live Q&A where you can submit questions through the question and answer toolbar of your Zoom webinar. Um, you can do that by going to the toolbar and selecting Q&A and submit your questions. We'll do our best to answer as many of them as we can in the given amount of time. So with that, I do want to welcome um, everyone as well as our panelists. We have uh, three panelists here that we have Jason Behrens, Jessica Goldstein, and Justin Kantak, who uh, serve on the RCA Board of Directors, as well as driving the committee for this new event. Um, so with that, I will turn it over to Jason, who's the chair, to share a little bit more about what you can expect in Napa in a couple months. Thanks, Erin. Um, so just to get started, the Research Chef Association event in Napa, the CIA, at the Copia facility will be this fall, um, October 3rd through 4th, and we'll demonstrate intermediate to advanced skills led by food industry experts to further excel your breadth of knowledge and in innovative flavors and techniques from around the world. So you may ask, what are the objectives of the event? There are three main objectives, immerse attendees into trending global cuisines, provide a differential experience of hands-on learning of advanced techniques and sensory experiences, and networking amongst food industry product development professionals. So the first thing is that the event is hands-on learning with small groups for instruction. We felt that that was very important. So participants go hands-on to learn techniques and explore flavors to drive innovation, product development, and menu creation. So the small groups, um, We'll have some instruction and curated content to give you an edge on competition and practical techniques that you can take back to your teams. The kitchen classes are led by industry leading instructors and chefs and culinary research and development professionals. You will have the opportunity to network, um, connect, and learn in a fully immersive culinary space. So this is the amazing space that we have. The demonstration experience offers small groups rotating across the six Copia Heston kitchens um, on on-trend culinary immersive discussions and hands-on skill training. It is truly an amazing setting and if you haven't been there, this is just another reason to attend this event. So for our innovative lectures, we have recognized culinary innovation experts, and they will offer presentations on innovative trends, practices, and applications. The lecture-based session includes interactive discussions, plus, of course, some food for samples. So what can you expect? All education at the RCA event in Napa is matched back to RCA's competencies and you will rotate through each kitchen, lecture, and of course, a wine experience. So you won't miss out on any of the educational opportunities, included as some of the culinary competencies are culinary, baking skills, nutrition, product development, food science, and food safety. And you'll get six kitchen rotations, two innovation lectures, and one of the, those great elevated wine tasting experiences for a total of 18 continuing education credits. So here's kind of an example of the agenda for Thursday. Over the course of two days, each attendee will rotate through nine immersive sessions. Each session is 75 minutes in length and each attendee will experience each session. Prior to the event, attendees will be assigned into small groups of probably about 10. These groups rotate through the experience and each session together over the course of the two-day program. The small groups are purposely designed to allow each attendee to gain hands-on experience and be an active participant in the kitchen and innovative lectures. 
So here again is the example of what one group schedule would look like. And again, over the two days, you will learn 18 continuing education credits. Plus, there will also be a networking reception on Thursday evening, which we may have a little bit of education plan there as well. So the great thing is we partnered with Data Central on this event to identify trending cuisines. Each instructor, instructor was able to select the cuisine they would like to theme their session around from that list of trending cuisines. These are the six global cuisines that will be covered in the kitchens at the CIA at Copia. And again, they're in the wonderful Heston kitchens. Um, and for anyone that hasn't been there, it's a great opportunity. It's a beautiful kitchen. So the six cuisines are Norwegian, Latin American, Northern Californian, Pacific Rim Fusion, Indian street food, and Southeast Asian. This is a wide range of cuisines and attendees will learn new techniques, trends, and tastes demonstrated by our experts. Attendees will be able to participate in the kitchen experience while creating each recipe from these cuisines. So here's, here's some of our instructors you may expect and, and what you might expect to learn from them. Some of the featured instructors are Chef Juni, uh, who will be teaching us Southeast Asian cuisine. You'll learn from, her, from a chef who is truly inspired by global cuisine and see how she infuses her passion for fresh, healthy, and natural food into Southeast Asian cooking. Also, Chef Tom Griffiths which showcase, will showcase Pacific Rim Fusion, and you will witness his passion for culinary ideation, trends, research, and product development. We couldn't leave out bread, so Chef Michael uh, Calante from North, Northern California Grains will share his deep knowledge of the craft of bread baking, and you will learn the texture, aromas, and flavors of bread. He's also one of America's most popular cookbook authors. And we are in wine country, so we had to have Alan Cannon from Brumbauer Vineyard join us to instruct our wine experience. With over 30 years of experience in the wine industry, certified wine educator Alan was the obvious choice to deliver the education for the RCA event in Napa. And there's so many more instructors. So please see, go to our website and see the additional. Um, instructors we have. So the RC event in Napa, what it is not, it is not a trade show. It is not a full day of sitting in lectures. It is not gonna be overcrowded. It is not like any other event you've been to. And that's an important piece of this entire event that we're putting on. So what to bring? A knife roll, if you have it. Um, we'll probably have a few extras, but uh, a knife roll is a great piece to bring. Uh, wear comfortable shoes. It's gonna be a little bit longer days, and you will be given an apron and printed schedule when you arrive. I wanna thank all of our sponsors and, and for this event. Um, they've really, helped us be able to put this event on for our attendees. And we're really excited about this event and what we're putting um, forward for our attendees. So with that, I think we're ready for questions. Yeah, so like I said at the beginning, um, feel free to submit questions through the Q&A chat. Um, you can do that on the Zoom toolbar. So. Um, I already have one question that has come in. Um, so I know that Jessica is a panelist here. Um, Jessica, are you able to share a non-culinary non perspective on reasons for attending the RCA event in Napa? Um, yeah, I would be happy to. Um, my, I did my master's work in food science, so I understand just a touch of what it takes to be a culinologist and understand the skills. 
Um, but the main reason why I'm, I'm excited about this event is because I'll actually have the opportunity to stand next to professional chefs and culinologists. And as they're learning these new techniques from the six different chosen regions, I'll have that same opportunity to learn for, and network right next to them. Um, also having the opportunity to learn about these traditional culinary techniques not only helps my personal ability to understand the food world, but also when I go into accounts that have a sophisticated product development team, when I can actually talk the talk and walk the walk, it's, it's been very valuable for my own benefit. Thanks, Jessica. Um, we have another question that's related to the CE credit, so I'm going to kick this over to Justin, but uh, are you able to share a little bit more around CE credits towards your certification if I have to, if I'm, my deadline is actually October this year to reapply? Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to, um, being, we're going to allow people to use the 18 credits towards their 75 contact hours they need for recertification, so that won't be a problem. And we know that there's a cut line, and we were aware of that, so we just want to make sure that that's not something that's going to hinder somebody from coming to the event and being able to claim those hours for recertification. Yes, you're welcome to use the, the code NAPA renewal when you reapply um, as a way to continue to get those uh, contact hours when you renew um, for, your, for your certification. So thanks, Justin. Let's see here. This one wasn't actually submitted when um, through this, but it has been a question that I was asked by someone who wanted to attend this. Um, what techniques um, and dishes and um, information will can someone expect to learn in each session? Jason, are you able to answer that question? Yeah, so um, we don't obviously want to give it all away, but um, some of the dishes that you might learn are the dim sum using sea green chimichurri, um, Indian street food, um, those types of things are um, uh, some of the items that we'll be showcasing, Mussolini, uh, force meat emulsion, um, the best way to fillet seafood, which I probably need a lot of um, work on that, um, how to make um, perfect consommes. So there's a wide range of items and techniques that you'll learn. Great, thanks. Um, I think, Jessica, it might be helpful for you to share a little bit more about what you feel someone can expect to learn in NAPA from each of these sessions, um, maybe based on what they'll, they'll focus on. Can you share a little bit more about, about that? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure everyone amongst our community and anyone in the food world is curious about what's coming next. I mean, I'm sure we, anyone on this uh, webinar can imagine that that's probably the first question that anyone's going to be asking um, when it comes to culinary innovations. Um, but while each session will focus on the unique and specific trend, um, just a couple things that you guys can keep in the back of your mind that will certainly be um, told during the event is how to identify and prepare sustainable seafood species and sea greens to reduce waste and manage ingredient inventory, the evolution of culinary ideation to global implementation, which sea greens are responsible for that smooth, luxurious texture of chocolate milk, which region cuisine is up to 160% on menus in just the last four years, the secret ingredient to the perfect dim sum pastry dough, uh, how to modify the kneading and shaping of bread that delivers different textures and to your finished bread products, about vineyards, climate change, growing condition, and different winemaking techniques, and also alternative preparations to a modernized take on Latin American favorites. Thanks, Jessica. Uh, we just had a question that was submitted. Um, it, the question is, I'm a registered dietitian. Are there any other RDs planning to attend the event? And would it be possible to get pre-approval for continuing education credits through the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics? I'll go ahead and respond to this one. Uh, Christine, I'd love to um, reach out to the a Academy for Nutrition and Dietetics. I, we work closely with a lot of other organizations, um, so I'm happy to reach out to them directly and share the content for this um, and, and get that um, considered for approval. That's a great question and one that I think we could absolutely work with their team to support. 
Okay, um, and now I have one more question. It's around who's able to attend this event. Is this um, open to people beyond RCA members, Justin? Uh, yes, so anyone who's interested in attending and feeling that this is a event that can help them accelerate their career, by all means, you're all welcome. Great. Um, I have another question that was submitted. Um, what can, um, will there be any handouts for attendees or anything that they'll be able to take away from each of the kitchens? Jason? Yes, um, so attendees will collect um, the six kitchen cards, our takeaways, designed to dive deep into the cuisines, techniques, competencies, and featured recipes. So we've worked really closely with our instructors as well as Data Essential to pull a lot of that information together. Great. Thank you. Uh, a new question. Um, they're asking if we could please advise um, when the agenda will be published or cascaded out. Um, I'll let Jason answer this, but I also just want to note that our RCA website, if you select the attend the event in Napa, um, there's a pretty robust schedule that is listed on there that displays what the two days would look like, as well as if you click on um, instructors and sessions, you'll see what what the six kitchens are, what they'll focus on, who's delivering them, as well as the innovative lectures and the wine tasting. So um, there's quite a bit of information online right now about what you can expect to learn, who will be delivering it, and what those rotations will look like. Anything to add, Jason? No, I think that covers uh, most of, most of uh, the agenda. Um, just keep in mind, Every, um, every group will rotate a little bit differently um, because it's a shotgun type start. Um, so you may have bread on the first day or you may have bread um, on the second day. So um, you'll rotate through about, I think, five rotations each day, if I recall right. Yes, you can reference the schedule that's listed on the website. There's an example of what um, one cohort schedule could look like. So again, that shotgun start where you, every group will start with a different session and they will all rotate through, but by the end of the two days, you will have experienced all sessions. It's just um, dependent upon where you begin and where you end. So that'll create a really great opportunity for you to create relationships within those smaller cohorts as you rotate over the course of those two days. Um, a next question is, are we planning to put together any video or slideshows after the end of the event? I'd love to share this with my students and highlight some of the event and promote the value of RCA membership and opportunities for professional development. So I, I'll take this a little bit. Um, we will be um, working on taking a lot of pictures and a lot of video of the event um, and there will probably be some opportunity to share that out um, to um, members as well as students. Excellent. Uh, I want to give everyone just one more, you know, couple seconds here if you do have any additional questions to submit. Um, of course, the team here that is um, on the panel as well as our team here at RCA headquarters are happy to, happy to answer any questions that you might have around the event. This is a inaugural event. It's the first time we're doing this, and so it's really exciting. But of course, there are some questions that people have. So we remain um, available to answer any questions that you might have. There's also a justification letter where you can make the case for attending the RCA event in Napa um, with some points about how you can help convince your teams about um, the benefits of attending, what will be focused on, and a breakdown of what that cost might look like for you to attend the event beyond just the registration. Um, so this is a helpful tool that you can use to um, help pull together all the details that we've talked about um, and, and more. Um, to help kind of a convince your boss letter. So um, please do reach out if you do need a copy of that. You can reach out at um, rca at colonology.org or learn more at napa.colonology.org. So with that, I do want to thank all of our panelists today and everyone who is here on the phone to listen. Um, we'd love to be able to answer any questions that you have and we appreciate your time. Uh, so look forward to seeing you in Napa soon. Thanks all.